Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We've already shuffled the deck, so let's get right into your reading, Pisces. Okay, your first card here is the Hanged Man, the Five of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Empress card, Major Arcana, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Okay. All right, Pisces. Now, your first card here is the Hanged Man, and this is a Major Arcana. So I feel that like you're going into the month of May feeling like you're no longer wanting to either sacrifice yourself or your sanity. Um, so what they're saying is, the hanged man is almost feeling stuck, feeling like you can't move forward, you can't progress. But this is a love reading. So I feel that like you may start to experience, I, I think for a lot of Pisces, um, throughout this year, it's, it's almost been like struggling in relationships and giving your opportunity to something else or a connection or something. Um, but the five of swords is symbolizing an inner struggle. Fives, fives are always struggles. But I feel that with the Five of Swords, it's almost like it's a prideful thing that's happening right now. Whatever arguments you're having with your partner, it's more about their ego being hurt than they being hurt. So what I mean by that is an example. If they've, there's been rumors that uh, they're stepping out of the relationship um, and you've confronted them about it, I feel that they're more hurt, not at the fact that perhaps, you know, what you're feeling but more about them or they're hurt they're hurt their pride is hurt because you doubt them and if this is you pisces that there's been rumors coming to them that there's been some type of stepping out of the relationship i feel that it's not even hurt as in like hurt that i can't believe you hurt me and betrayed me it has more to do with their pride is hurt because other people are finding out so i hope that makes sense now, you do have the Queen of Swords here, and the Queen of Swords is asking you, you need to be firm in your conviction. You need to be firm in whatever decision you make moving forward, okay? Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop pitting yourself or putting the blame on other people of, this, of the reason why you're there, the reason why you're putting up with this relationship if it's toxic, the reason why... Um, you try to put on a front like you're happy because perhaps um, there is a lot of distance between you and your partner. Stop making up excuses of, you know, this beautiful, happy life when in reality, um, you're unhappy. And not only unhappy, you want to make the decision to walk away, but you refuse to make a move or to make a change. So what they're saying is stop self-blaming other people for your circumstances or the reason you are in an unhappy relationship. And in order for you to be able to experience your expansion, it's going to come at a cost of valuing yourself and stop self-sacrificing your happiness for other people's happiness. Now, you do have the Nine of Wands here, and I feel like you're about, you've about had it. You are about done about it, but again, you refuse to move. Now, you do have the Eight of Wands here, and the Eight of Wands next to the Queen of Swords is quick communication. Um, quick communication that happens for some of you guys. Again, like I said, you may be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. For others of you, you may be dealing with the Libra specifically. Um, but again... It's it's almost like, so I'm getting two different scenarios. That's one. And for others of you, I feel that you're in a unionship or in a relationship because it's almost like a, a give and take to, to each, each one of you's convenience. So what I mean by that is uh, perhaps it's more convenient to be married than to separate. For others of you, it's you know, your husband's taking care of you or your wife is taking care of you. So it's more convenient. But I feel that both of you guys have gotten to a point where there's a lot of detachment or a lot of distance. And again, like I said, 
there is definitely rumors flying around this connection or this relationship. It could even be that you hear that your partner has been communicating with someone either through internet or through some type of social media as I don't see it physical, I see it more at a distance, but I feel that it doesn't bother you anymore because deep down inside, it's almost like you're neutral. Like you, you, there's no passion there, but I feel that you're hurt because of your pride more than anything. So it's, it's not an emotional connection. I don't see any emotions connected here. For some of you guys, it could just be that you're there because you have children. You're the mother of his children. Or you're with her because she's the mother of your children. Okay? Now, for those of you guys that, have, that are currently single and have been single, again, like I said, stop self-sacrificing yourself. Stop giving the opportunity to people that you know uh, they're not consistent. You got to be more grounded. You got to be more grounded when it comes to the approach of dating. If you see that this person is all over the place or that their life is chaotic, more than likely they are chaotic. So you got to be practical in choosing the person that's right for you because then you've given them two, three months of your time and then you realize you waste it and you blame them for wasting your time when in reality, you've been through this so many times, Pisces, you're the one that needs grounding. You're the one that needs to be more practical in the approach of dating, okay? Now, I do see rather positive movement, again, like I said, going into uh, the second week of May where there is more progress, where you're able to think more clearly, uh, more concisely, be more methodical in your decision, but nonetheless, there will be a need for a decision to be made. Uh, for those of you guys that are single, again, changing certain type of habits, um, stop being so complacent, um, stop saying when the universe is ready, it's going to bring me the right person. And then you just pretty much sit on your ass and be hopeful all day. It doesn't work that way. You got to take some type of action as well. <laughs> and I say it in the most loving way. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Take the reading for what it is, whatever resonates with you, take it with you and we will see each other soon. Okay. Bye.